Well, look at how lucky I am this morning. I have all my girls. Just lounging by the window. Look at you guys. What's out there that's so fascinating, Zuzu? Huh? What's so fascinating? But aren't all princesses? There's Miss Pinky. Hi, Miss Pinky. Okay, this is the first butternut squash I have seen. And that's getting pollinated right now. Oops. Little bee in there. Thank you, bee. <laughs> I love the bee. I love butternut squash. Cute. So, it's all up, uphill from here, you guys. <laughs> okay, I think I have the perfect, the perfect zucchini. This is my first one! Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so easily amused. <clears throat> I'm trying to keep these. Um, the zucchini and summer squash, I'm trying to keep some of the leaf growth down so that it gets better air circulation because I've got these planted pretty close together and what I really need to stay up on top of is the weeds because um, for pollination, you really want the weeds to stay down um, so that the flies and bees will see your flowers. If they're all covered up with leaves and weeds, then the bees aren't going to see them. But I can hear them buzzing around. Look at that. Woohoo! Buzzing through there. That's pretty cool. And then I have, um, I don't have any on this one yet. And then I've got tons and tons of summer squash over here. I'm going to have to make some <clears throat> something. With these guys, because they're getting, they're getting, it's getting crazy. <laughs> Summer is here. Full swing. Oh, and the flowers have collected some dew. Oh, how pretty is that? Look at that flower. Pretty. 
It's about 8 o'clock in the morning, I think. Um, look at my Swiss chard. Look at this plant. Well, there's a couple of plants here, I think. Three, maybe? And those are just going crazy, and I'm letting them go to seed so I can save some seed. Um, but the leaves are just amazing. I'm surprised how well the leaves are growing still, considering that these is, this is going to flower, going to seed. <coughs> and I keep picking off my basil um, flowers. The basil, if you just pick these flowers off, it'll still keep growing more leaves. And of course the flowers are edible. I just love that smell. The smell of basil is freaking amazing. <laughs> Don't you think? Um, and then my broccoli plants. I have been juicing the leaves. And I don't find that it's overwhelming if I use like one leaf in um, my juice in the morning. I do the celery juice. Um, and then once in a while I'll add a carrot or I added some beets from the garden the other day and, um, but the, the broccoli leaves are totally edible. All of the brassicas have edible leaves. It just seems such a shame to, um, not use them because there's so many nutrients in them. There's a nice wild amaranth right here. Um, so I've been trying to use them, plus they're getting so big, and I like, I'm a person that likes to plant things close together, <laughs> which is probably not the best idea, but I just hate to waste space. I'm not a waster of anything, really. Look at my, these are called Mucho Nacho, and these are one of the varieties <coughs> that um, I was working, I, well, I still work there in the spring, but um, a greenhouse that I um, help at um, in the spring, not too much, not, not you know, not a full-time job or anything, just once in a while I'll work there. And they, um, they grow annuals and um, vegetables for sale um, in, you know, like a retail sale of plants. And they also grow tomatoes for one of the, the big farms here. <clears throat> they grow tomato plants so that they can grow them in the field and then they sell those tomatoes for um, processing and, and um, fresh, you know, sales to, to supermarkets. But the migrant workers that work for that farm loves these mucho nacho um, jalapenos, and they're kind of on the bigger side of the jalapeno, I believe. But I've got, I think I've got eight plants here, so I'm gonna have a good harvest of jalapenos because I love them. And I haven't grown them in a couple of years because Mike really doesn't like hot peppers. And sometimes I end up getting, they get wasted, but I'm not doing that anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm eating what I want because, you know, sometimes you just got to eat what you want. Stop catering to everybody else like we always do. So that's what I'm doing. I am growing my jalapenos for me. Look at this. <clears throat> another um, another thing I grew pretty close together, and these are spreading out like crazy. These have just gone kind of not just in the last just in the last day or so. 
Um, I'm getting all new growth on here. But I'm not getting... I got one cucumber off of these four plants. So I'm thinking that these are not getting pollinated. Because they, you know, thousands of little cucumbers on here, but they're not getting bigger. They're just staying that small, and then they're disappearing. So, either the slugs are eating them at night, or they're not getting the pollination that they need. So, I've been removing some leaves off of these, too. Because I know that there's... I can hear all the little bees around. <clears throat> and the flies and all of the pollinators, but I'm not getting them. See, there's slugs right there. Little jerk. Maybe I'll get some sunshine on them and they won't be so... I don't know. We'll see what happens with this. These are the pickles. The pickling cucumbers. So I'm not super worried about it. I haven't even planted my regular cucumbers yet. They're getting really big in the, the four packs that I planted them in. <laughs> so I, I better get them planted. But I want to trellis them this year. Um, so I have to figure out what I'm going to trellis them on and Sometimes it takes me some time to figure stuff out. These are the potatoes over on this side and they're starting to flower. Look at this amaranth. <clears throat> Aren't they gorgeous? A pretty, pretty leaf that has. And the stalks get huge. Look at that. Love that. So, <clears throat> you hear those bees buzzing around? That's crazy. <clears throat> crazy awesome. I always worry, every spring, I always worry that the bees aren't going to come. I just worry about it because there's so many orchards around me that are spraying chemicals, like just crazy amounts of chemicals at the future. And I, I worry, but they always pull through. But all the way in the back of me, I'm very fortunate that the back has all that acreage of um, wild, you know, there's lots of trees and fields and nobody sprays any stuff on that stuff because um, there's no orchards. It's just a guy that owns all that property and he just leaves it alone. So I think that a lot of the birds and the <clears throat> wildlife, birds, and insects stay back there. And, uh, okay, sorry about that, my battery cut me off. <clears throat> supposed to just pay attention. Um, I looked these up last year, and these are, I think this is an edible berry. And I can't remember if you guys know what that is. Leave it in the leave that in the comments because I can't remember what this is. It's oh, I can't remember now. <laughs> oh well, I got more of this here, and I did eat some year, but I think they have to turn um, black.
And they're not bad, but they have a big seed in them, and you, their seeds are not edible, I believe. And then this is that, um, something olive. My brain must be fuzzy today, because I can't think of stuff today. But the birds love these. I see the birds. Robins and all sorts of other birds. Um, eating those. Can you guys hear those, the silly birds? I love them. I love my birds. This used to be a path, so I'm going to have to do some clearing so I can get through there. I just haven't really, I've been working on shows and stuff, I haven't really, I've been sort of slacking off on the food forest. And I really, um, I wanted to get, um, currants in this year. So I may still do it. I just, I just have to get, get myself in gear, get that done. I, there's, I'm always, I always feel like I'm behind. That's, that's just the way I am, I guess. <laughs> I have to check my blackberries in the back too, because there's different varieties and. Some of them, like the black raspberries, are starting to come. They're starting to get ripe now. So, well, I guess I will go in and make something for breakfast. Probably I'll juice something. <clears throat> And then I will talk to you guys later. Hope you um, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're in a place that isn't too hot like it is here. It's nice today. It's been so hot and muggy and yucky that I haven't been feeling like doing anything. So today I do. So I will see you soon. Have a great day.